Lesnar walked up tight. These DBs going to give a little cushion. Quarterback moving. He turns it loose to the left. It's complete. A huge pickup. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Big time playmakers on the outside. Now look, Alabama's had great receivers. Ozzie Newsome, David Palmer way back in the day. But nowadays, it's sort of part of the DNA for the Crimson Tide. Man, the run they had for several years was unbelievable with Judy. Makes the catch. Takes it to the house. Touchdown tie. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's golden. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. First down here for the offense. Quarterback will audible. They'll throw it on first down. Shoots it to the left. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Yeah, and a really good job by the defender understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down and makes sure that's an incompletion. To the air. It's Ewers. Throws to the tight end. Got his man. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. Must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. That can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Out of the gun to give to the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. On second down, he'll let it fly. Showing the arm straight down the left side. He is lucky to get that one back, and the last thing you want is to turn it over on your opening drive. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. Great job by the defense dialing up some pressure on third down. They hit the quarterback and forced the incompletion. On fourth down, looking for the completion. Took a shot as he threw. It's incomplete, a fourth down stop and the turnover on downs. Man, first half being that aggressive on, on your side of the field, that, that's a different world. Like, you live in the analytics world, and I know people say go for it more often. I don't see the point in going for it on that one early in the game in that situation. He wants to throw. Moves around to clear up the vision. Blasted as he lets it go. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. A really good job by the defense. They got to understand that boy can fly. So when he gets outside the pocket, I got to make sure I'm ready to go get him. You can tell he was still being a passer. He wanted to throw the football. Nice job closing under control, getting a hit on the quarterback, and affecting the throw. They're setting up the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. The transition of Alabama quarterbacks over the years has been fascinating from the dreaded game manager label to playmaker. To playmaker. To... Fires deep toward the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and 
put six on the board. Well, he's just running straight down the field. The thing you got to look at there is the velocity on the throw by the quarterback. He didn't lob it. He got it to him quickly, put it on his body. He was able to make the catch and then run it in for a touchdown. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Texas. Fielded in the end zone. It's golden. They drag him down at the 22. He gambled for the big return out of the end zone and came up a little short. So Texas has it again, and here comes the offense. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. What a snag by the defense. Looking for more room. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And that's why as quarterbacks, you cannot telegraph the pass. You cannot stare down your receivers because these defenders, they're watching it. And that defender knew exactly where the QB was going with that football, and that's why he picked it off. The offense starts with a short field. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. He's looking on the right side. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't make the connection. And that is one this QB is going to wish he had back. That receiver was so wide open. There was nobody even near him, and the quarterback somehow overthrew him. Back to pass, it's Milrow. Throws for the tight end. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. You know, the defense just hasn't seemed to quite have an answer. They've come close to interceptions like that one there, but they haven't registered any so far. They've given up a few touchdown passes. If and the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. This is a good sign for this defense. The rate they were going, not touching the quarterback, him already having two touchdown passes in the first half, this was not going to be a fun football game to watch. Now they're turning the tide a little bit, getting a little bit of pressure, getting a sack. Throws toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Bama! This offense is really dangerous because of the weapons they have on the perimeter of the field. And you're seeing they go to these guys early and they try to give them opportunities in one-on-one -on -one situations and vertically down the field. Two passing touchdowns now early for this offense. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. 21, Texas. Texas. Coming out with it, it's Golden. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. One final play before the end of the quarter. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. He's looking to throw it. Finds his tight end. There to... this first period. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. The run from the shotgun. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Might as well give it to him again. 
They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. You got to keep defenses off balance. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Great play by the cornerback. He was just way too physical at the point of attack. He beat his man trying to block him, and he tackled that receiver on the screen. To the air, it's Ewers. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And he makes the catch inside the 20. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Texas! And how about the bomb? The long field all the way across the field. Big time play, big time throw. Receiver runs underneath it, takes it to the house. Huge play for this offense. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Looking deep. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. They'll run the screen. Crosses the 30, he's got to lay it. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Lost to throw on first down off the play fake. Looking to scramble. He felt the heat trying to get away, but down he goes. He'll lose a yard or two. This defense needed something to go right. Man, they're down big already in the first half. Get to the quarterback, get him on the ground. This could start some momentum going back the other direction. And this defense is bringing the heat another sack. Well, obviously, at this point in the first half, the defense is finding themselves in the hole. You just get the feeling if they're going to get back in this, they're going to need more plays like that. They're going to need sacks. They're going to need turnovers. They're going to have to create negative plays to get themselves some momentum. He'll take the deep shot. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chain. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. Looks as if the tide will punt it away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. He'll bring it back. It's Bolden. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. sending the offense back onto the field. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football. And he makes the catch inside the 25. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Longhorn! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. And the ball will make it into the end zone. No return on that one for a touchback. This offense will take the field again. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. Gets it out quickly. And the 45 on its way. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. 
They came out hot on this drive. One play and already near midfield. Trying to find his man on first down. Got a man. It's Law. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. The magic bean is spinning out of control. Already over 200 yards in the first half. Yeah, they're being aggressive offensively, throwing the football, trying to take advantage of this defense on the back end. They've got their quarterback right now in a group. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. And this has got to be so demoralizing for this defense right now, having given up multiple first downs on this drive. Somebody on defense has to step up, make a play, and stop the bleed. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Steps away. He scrambled forward and got a few and turned that into a positive play. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. He wants to pass it on second down. They're trying to get to it. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Just enough time for one final play in this half. They want to throw it. Keeps looking downfield. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And I love this offense, man. Staying aggressive. Just because you got the lead, you know people can score points in bunches. This offense keeps the foot on the accelerator, scores again on the final play. Now this offense has even more of a cushion going into halftime. And the extra point is good for a 28-14 lead. Alabama ready to put a boot to it to start the second half. Texas. He'll bring it out. It's golden. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. Trailing by a couple of scores, they'd like to generate some confidence here early in the third quarter. Down two possessions, the coaching staff. The freshman able to get home with the sack. And it is hardly a big surprise that this Alabama defense is hitting hard and making their presence felt in the backfield. Yeah, it's what they built their brand on. They built it on physicality and stopping the run. And, and you've seen over the last several years, too. After they do that, they come after your quarterback, and they try to get that sucker on the ground. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And he's brought down after a huge completion. The Longhorns will snap it on first and ten. He's going to pass. Looking left. He's got an open man. Afterburner's coming. Touchdown, Texas! And the comeback is on. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point cuts the lead to 7, 28-21. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes courtesy of the big play, covering 61 yards on the touchdown pass. And as the ball makes its way into the end zone, it'll be a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. Here comes that Alabama offense. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. 
Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. This guy is special, and Alabama's had a lot of them. Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddle, Jerry Judy, who could make a huge play at the drop of a hat. Yeah, big plays down the field. You get it to him, you know it could be a, a home run anytime he touches it. When you start mentioning those names, it just shows you the explosive nature. Everybody you mentioned, you know they can run. Oh, what a grab by the defense. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. Receivers, you know, they might Reese have a, a hint of defense, right? Like they're they're always up, aren't they? According to them, and, and I tell you what, it's hard to be a quarterback because when they do throw that hand up there, you you want to throw them the football, you want them to have confidence, you want to force feed them, you want them to to really have that confidence at an all-time high. Sometimes you force them a little bit too much. The defense takes advantage, like they did right now. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. After the misfire, now on second down. Quarterback checking off. Looking to throw at Ewers. He looks that one in nicely. And game tackling on this dude is a good idea. They needed it, but he still got the first down. First and ten from their own 24-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Nothing but green ahead. Touchdown, Longhorn. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. This is like a baseball pitcher that can't miss. He is just pounding, pounding, pounding the strike zone. That just gets in the zone, right? You can't miss. You, you've seen quarterbacks get like that. No matter what they do, they're on fire. They're hitting the receivers. And listen, that's also on the defense. The defense has to do a better job making him feel uncomfortable, changing what they're doing in coverage so he's a little bit confused. You can't just let him pick you apart. The tied offense rolls onto the field. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right. Oh, picked off. Got room at the 35. He'll try to take it back. At the 30. The 10. How about that D coming up with a play like that? Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point splits the uprights. They're up 35-28. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. No chance for a return as that ball flies out of the back of the end zone. Here comes that Alabama offense. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. you got to go out and not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. Expect some pressure coming from the blitz. Flushed out of the pocket. He's going to swing it into the heart of the field. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. Back to throw. It's Milrow. Dances away. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. He picks it up, still on his feet. 
Man, and this is why you practice five points of pressure with the football. You cannot put the ball on the ground. Doesn't matter how many defenders are around you or how hard you get hit, you cannot turn the football over and expect to win games. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. They're throwing for it on fourth down. And now the ball. And looks as if the offense was able to get back on top of the football. I guess it could have been worse, but as it is, it's a safety. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field. They got a chance to put points on the board, and they did. So after that safety, they'll kick it away from their own 20. Looking for a block. It's golden. There to make the stop, and we played three in this one.